Want to play the song today? I'll just get right into it. And I will talk about it a little more after I'm done. But so, this is how it goes, something like this. Uh, the song is called Remember You. Love is patient, love is kind. It doesn't envy, doesn't boast, and isn't pride. I've read this, I know it's in my head, but the hardest part is getting it into my heart. And every day I'm growing older, but growing older doesn't mean I'm growing up. I want to love like you love, want to give grace like you do. Time I say goodbye, I don't want them to remember me. I want them to remember you. And now these remain. So that's why, it, that's why the guitar is over there now. But anyway, <laughs> so that's that song. Um, <laughs> it was written a, a couple of years ago. Um, <laughs> it started off as just uh, the idea, that theme for that song. You understand it. Um, and then one day I uh, okay. Well, so so it had been a a 
a common theme at that time that I, I can be quite uh, insensitive and unloving. Uh, not, not maliciously, um, never ill-willed in the things that I, I say or, or do. I just don't express love in the best way um, often. And so uh, one day I, I got into like a, an argument with my dad, basically, and, and that came up again. <laughs> so after that, that talk that we had, uh, this song pretty much just finished itself within within hours um, so that, so that's what that's what came up uh, that's what came of it so that uh, that part in the the bridge uh, where I say uh, I don't want to walk away and wish I'd said something more or something else uh, don't want to build a friendship you inspire and when they go my tears are dry that doesn't mean I don't want to build friendships uh, it just means that there was a, a time that uh, during that time I, I had thought, if one of my friends were to, you know, or somebody that I cared about were to move away or, or pass away, there was a part of me that, that felt like I, I wouldn't cry about it. So I just, I just, that was put in there because I, I want to have a real connection with people that shows itself, a, a love for people that, that shows itself. And, and so that's, that's why I say I don't want people to remember me. I don't want people to remember Josiah, when I when I leave a conversation or when I say good say goodbye to somebody, I want them to see Jesus in me. And so I've been thinking about that uh, lately with some things that have been happening, as well as because of what we talked about last week. I I want people to see God when they see me. Opinions don't necessarily matter, but uh, I still want to live in the right way, in the way that I, I know I should live. And uh, so that's 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 part of where that that pre-course section came in. Um, I what is it? <laughs> uh, I'm, every day I'm growing older, but growing older doesn't mean I'm growing up. Um, for a long time, I've had this thing about me where I would say um, <coughs> that was like my motto to grow up. You know, to uh, that you're not as good as you think you are, or as good as people might say you are. Um, there was, if, if people would compliment me or, you know, tell my parents, oh, he's such, he's so mature for his age, you know, whatever, 12, 13 years old, I would, I would humble myself and, and say and tell my, to myself that, no, you're not, you're not mature for your age. You're just doing what you're supposed to be doing. And all the other 13, 14, 15, 16 year olds are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. So you're nothing special. <laughs> it's just the 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 things that my parents have, have instilled in me, um, what God's word says, I'm just doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And so that is part of the reason that I would try to to be different and to, to love people in a in a different way and to, to connect with people better, engage with people more. Um but it's not just obligatory. It's not just because this is what God said I should do. I don't want, I don't want that to be it because um, that's not real love. And so that that's why that's the theme of the song is love and the those verse sections talking about um, the hardest part is getting it into my heart because I know that what I should be doing and I can fake it, you know. I can I can embody love, but doing doing something because you're just supposed to do it is not doing it out of love necessarily and there's some gray area there but the type of love that god has is an unconditional love it's a love that is not expecting anything in return and i, I was reading a, a forum post recently and it was talking about like economics and humanitarianism and stuff <laughs> but so uh i had thought you know, it's interesting, there's that golden rule to treat others the way you want to be treated, which comes from the Bible, of course, to love your neighbor as yourself. And that is the, that is the best um, form of love because it's not doing something, expecting a reward or reciprocation. You're just doing it because you love people. But so that's the idea of the song, basically. Um, there's more that you could say. Obviously, there's more to talk about and we can talk about more of it, but that's the main thing is just 
you know, like we've been talking about, uh, there's nothing substantial, there's nothing lasting that, that I could have to offer anybody if it's not coming from who God is and what God says, if it's not that kind of love that God has to give. Um, you know, it, it, there's n not no good thing about me without God, and there's good people who are not Bible-believing, Jesus-following people, but there's something just worth worth more, and there's something that that means more to life than what everybody else has to offer, and that's why I'm making these videos because I feel like I'm obligated to in a way, and because I I really think it's worth worth saying. And like I said before, you know, what's the use of writing a song if you're not gonna <coughs> share it with anybody? Because they were written for me, you know. That song was about me and about you know it's a prayer of mine but it's a uh, it's good for anybody you know so that's that's about it i think yeah i gotta finish some other stuff up so i'll see you guys next time bye